Model X hits the bricks, news again for the Linux kernel and web browser updates, and the steady flow of new used inventory. Here is Tesla Tidbits episode 250 for June 13th, 2017. Thanks to Electrek is the source of all the stories tonight. For some time, we've been looking for the crash tests for Model X, and it looks like we're finally getting them. Tesla has always been extremely confident in Model X's crash capabilities, claiming it will have the highest safety rating of any SUV ever, and expect the Model X to reach five stars in all categories. The crash tests are in three categories, frontal crash, side impact, and pole crash. As crashes go, I guess it's hard to call a crash routine, but that's the best way I can describe them. I'm no crash test expert, but the dummies appear to do exactly what they're expected to do in each of the videos. The only sort of nebulous test is this pole crash test. This is where the car is dragged on an angle at 20 miles per hour into a stationary 25 centimeter diameter pole, impacting the driver's door. This is meant to simulate a car slamming sideways into a utility pole or traffic light fixture. Tesla claims the pole's intrusion into the cabin is half that of the next safest SUV. Check out all the media on the site, as I can't possibly do it justice via audio. The official ratings haven't yet been released, but all indicators are pointing to a superb rating. In the story that doesn't ever seem to want to finish, the much-awaited Linux kernel and web browser updates have surfaced again thanks to Elon. In a tweet sent yesterday, Elon said, quote, New kernel goes out next weekend, new web browser next month. Radar only breaking is getting steadily better for both hardware 1 and 2, end quote. So this is good news for all owners, as the AP2-equipped cars have been getting most of the love on the update front lately. Now we'll see if we actually receive the improvements, as these upgrades have been promised for over six months now. We'll be on the lookout. Lastly tonight, following up on the shareholders meeting that discussed the CPO section of Tesla's website getting some more love, boy has it ever. Firstly, as has been already mentioned, it's no longer the pre-owned section of the website, it's now labeled used inventory. And boy has the selection grown. The main reason is the many cars coming off their leases and Tesla creating a new warranty class for older or high mileage cars. If the car is newer and lower mileage, it receives the same warranty as if you bought it new, 4 years, 50,000 miles bumper to bumper, while the drive unit and battery pack retain their original 8 year unlimited mile warranty. However, there are now a pile more cars on the site that have been loved a little more than we're used to seeing on the site and receive a lesser warranty. It's not entirely clear where the line is drawn here, but it appears to be the 50,000 mile mark in mileage and an arbitrary line sometime in 2013 for the year. These cars get a 2 year, 100,000 mile odometer cap warranty. Electrek notes that these lower end cars, some going for under $40,000 US, are just flying off the site. However, it seems that Tesla is re refreshing this inventory fairly frequently, and new cars seem to appear daily. Looks like the used inventory team is going to have their collective hands full now that more affordable cars are flooding the site. You can find the links to today's full stories in the show description. This show operates on a value-for-value value model. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks so much to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, and Ryan Scarborough for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Of course, as always, if you have nothing to spare, no worries. Please show your love with positive feedback and subscriptions on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, and other services across the internet. It really helps spread the love. Lastly, if you're in the market for a Tesla, you can get yourself $1,000 off and free supercharging for your vehicle if you use super patron Drew Schuyler's referral link at ts.la slash andrew1233. Again, a final note that I'm traveling tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to record something for you, but no promises. I'll send word via social media as usual if the show is off. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll hopefully see you back here tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.